Yeah, come on now, come on now. Oh, we're still in Chamonix, everybody. How we doing out there? World, DGR strong around the world. I hope you're having a great evening. Oh man, wherever you're watching. And on that note, let us know with a country flag or, or your city. That works too. Where are you watching from around the world, okay? As I put it up on the screen, you better believe it, DGR, we're stronger together, okay? I hope everybody is having a great Sunday, all right? Kind of crazy that it's Sunday, kind of crazy that the week is done. Oh, ayo, first on the screen, shout out to Cameron. Cameron, thanks for being a member of the channel. Cameron, I do appreciate it. Oh my, my, Cameron's first. We're in Chamonix. We're hanging out. We are actually, we're about to start packing, okay? And, but first, we got to break down just a little more UTMB action. Talk about the award ceremony, okay? An interesting observation from the award ceremony. I'll break that down in a minute. Um, I'm going to try some new... Uh, producing. Oh, watch out. We're going to get fancy in here. Hold on. Let me make sure this is muted. There we go. And what else? What else? And then, oh, give away a pair of trail running shoes. Okay. Details are over on Instagram. There's a post on Instagram. All right. I'll just pull it up. Hold on. I wasn't going to do this, but let me just see here. Okay. Go to Instagram. I should probably put this on the screen. All right. There's my there's my handle, all right, Seth J at Seth James Demore or whatever. You just type it in. So go to Instagram, and basically this photo. Oh, can you see that? Can you see that? This photo on my profile has the details for how to win a pair of trail running shoes. Okay, can you see that? It's kind of, uh, it's not the best, but hopefully you can. See. It's basically the photo of the finish line. Okay. I posted it about three or four days ago. Oh, my, my, let's get some names on the screen. Here we go. Mike is from Canada. We got Fred from the UK. Hello, hello. Kiriko, Kiriko, interesting. What up from Ohio? Hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in. Ashla is here. Ohio is here. Onward and upward. I hope everyone is doing well. Oh, yeah, by the way. Uh-oh, butter to the bread. Who was it? Um... Oh, there! somebody already joined the Butter My Bread Club level. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. you, get, you get the traditional French bell, okay? You better believe this is getting packed home with me tomorrow on the airplane. So, oh, so thank you for joining up. And if I find your name, I will put you on the screen. I'm going to do my best, but you know how that goes. Oh, thank you, Brian, for the support. I appreciate it. And, oh, yeah, let's let the rest of DGR know if you could uh, hit that like button down below. It uh, just gives a little alert to more DGR strong around the world. Okay, who else is here? Christopher's here. Thank you, Christopher, for being here. Theo Physics is tuning in. John is here. Oh, so many great people. Okay, Alex is watching from the New York City. Can't wait to visit you soon. Hello from South Italy. Paul is here. Thank you, Paul, for tuning in. Sean, thank you for using those emojis. And again, details over on Instagram. Okay, so how was your run today? Sunday? And I think that was the question of the day. Uh, did you do a long run? Did you do a workout? Or did you race? Okay, I believe that was the question of the day that I asked in yesterday's vlog, which I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try and show some clips here live with all of you. Okay, I see Axel. You know what? Somebody is noticed, saying that it's it looks chilly there. It is kind of chilly. And I've heard somebody mention that it's because the valley we're in is so steep. The mountains, like the sun doesn't really warm up the valley very quickly during the day. So, um, but it is warming up. So I am going to take this guy off. There we go. So Croatia's watching. Thank you for watching from Croatia. Davor. Hello, Jean. Okay. So good to see everyone. Les raced a trail half marathon uh, running with Dr. Andrew says I did a long run, 16 mile run, long run, um, Kieran, long run, think I might have pulled a muscle though. Ooh, sorry to hear that, but keep me posted. Hopefully it resolves itself pretty pretty quickly, okay? Or very quickly, I should say. John in the house up around Green Mountain. You know how it is, I know. How has the weather been in Colorado, John, the last six days? All right, I left on Monday. Crazy. 
Pikes Peak Marathon was one week ago. Feels like months ago. I'll just tell you that right now. Feels like months ago. Paul did a, the 56K Speyside Way Ultra in Scotland. Paul, that sounds like a great time. I bet that was beautiful. Paul, if you don't mind sharing, what was the vertical gain, okay? I have aspirations to race in Scotland sooner rather than later. Earl Achen from Canada, Luis. Thank you, thank you. So glad you got to go up uh, the meaty. Is that a trail I ran on? I don't even know what that is. Or is that, oh, maybe that's the the gondola? Or I don't know what that is. Uh, but I do know you are a new member of the channel as of two days ago or yesterday. So thank you so much, Froman, for being a member. Hello from the UK. Okay. So we're going to dive into UTMB here in a second. Shannon, 16-mile long run, 85 degrees Fahrenheit at finish. Whew, that's tough, Shannon. That is tough. Man, fall is around the corner. Yes, it is. Okay, Mario. Seth, you looked at home in the snow today. You looked at, was I in the snow today? I don't even know. Oh, in the vlog. Mm, yeah, I guess I did see snow. I did see snow. You're right. That's right. On top of the mountain. I It's been a long couple days, Mario. Thanks for tuning in, Mario. Zach is here. Oh, man. Okay, Brian's here. All right. Adam, and we're going to get to questions. I'll take Adam's question first, so start thinking about your questions. Um, unbelievable. Mm. So here's the deal. Adam, this is a good, a good segue. <clears throat> yes. I will definitely do UTMB someday. Actually, we were talking about this at our DGR group run this afternoon. That was my nice little jaunt around Chamonix. And some kids showed up with their parents who watched the channel. It was so cool. So we did a, uh, a little two-kilometer run with the kids here through the streets uh, of the town. So it was really, really neat. Uh, but they asked, you know, what's my plans for UTMB? And I, I think here's my prediction. My prediction is CCC in 2023. And for those that don't know, CCC is the shorter version of UTMB. It's half, basically half the dis. Well, no, it's a little, it's over half. Um, I think it's like 67 miles. Don't quote me on that. No, maybe it's a little less than that. Anyway, it starts, I believe, in Cormier, and you cover the second half of the UTMB course. So I think in two years, I'll be ready to throw my hat in the ring, okay? So 2023. And then, eh, if all goes well, potentially 20. And that's about what I'm predicting. When I'm 39 or 40, start to venture into the longer stuff, okay? But at least over the next couple of years, stick into the you know half marathons, marathons, maybe 50Ks. So Adam, 100%, thanks for being here, sir. Um... Onward and upper, upward. Christopher's here. Peter's here. Oh, man. So good to see everyone, as always. I know. And OCC is on my radar as well. What is OCC? There's, it's a lot of different numbers. I think it's, it's, um, is it 67K? Could somebody, no. What is, what is, oh, it might be 67K. Anyway, if somebody remembers the, length of OCC, please do let me know. Rocky Runs, watching from Slovenia, did 20K, 22K mountain run. Awesome. That sounds like a good time. Okay. So let's talk to, talk about UTMB and the award ceremony. <laughs> I'll keep I'll keep saying it. The organization of this race is second to none. Very extensive organization. Very impressive. I can't believe the amount of work that goes into this race. It's be it's truly incredible. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, there it is. So is Matthew. Matthew. Boom. Thank you, Matthew, for being a member of the chat. You get access to those emojis now. So uh, the finish line atmosphere awesome. What, what have I been saying all week? It's like the Super Bowl of ultra running. It just feels fun. You know what I mean? And guess what? Our sport is painful, but it's also fun. All right. And we can't forget that. Sometimes I think we can get a little, not overly, uh, I can, I'm, I do it too. Get too invested in the training or like too, 
we just can't forget that at the end of the day, we're at, yes, we want to be healthy, of course, but it's it should be fun. If you're not having fun with your training plan or what your coach is telling you, like if you if you and your coach are just on different pages, like you've been with the coach and you just have been kind of miserable for six months, it's time for a change or it's time to to have a discussion because at the end of the day, if you're not having if you're not uh, joyful turning that doorknob it's just going to be very difficult i have found in the past to train at a high level therefore uh utmb and the organizing committee does a great job at making the race fun okay great atmosphere the volunteers the signage the aid stations uh the food the music um, and yes, the award ceremony. They really go all out to make, oh, and this is so cool. They go all out to make the runners feel very special, especially at the finish line. And you guys probably watched the live stream and actually, oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, this is going to be, you just bear with me. I'm going to keep talking. Okay. I'm going to keep talking, but you just bear with me here, everybody. So, um, you probably saw at the award ceremony, that oh man okay one second i'm trying um this is gonna take it's gonna take a quick second here everybody nope mm, nope mm, no okay i thought i was might be able to do it well let's just try something here so i'm trying to do something fancy but i don't know if